Want to know the best business to start online in 2021? And no, it is not directly selling on Amazon. If so, be sure that you stay tuned. For the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks and advice, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new videos every single week. One of our newest students was able to get to over $1,000 per day in sales about a week after launching his very first product. So if you'd like to learn how you can also do the same, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a very special announcement. Now, just to address the elephant in the room, I stabbed myself last week uh, cutting some meat so if my hand looks a little weird or it's not moving you know that's just simply because it's still swollen so anyways um, depending on how long you've been following me about five years ago I began selling on Amazon and the reason why I started doing that was because I used to run retail businesses and my last business being a restaurant now when that happened I was you know for about a year prior to me losing my restaurant and starting to sell on Amazon I had been hearing the term um, you know, I work from home and I didn't understand what it meant, you know, because uh, for me, it was always about like if you own a business or if you actually have a job, you physically interact with someone, you exchange a service or a product and then you get revenue for, you know, in return for your business. So the term work from home was just kind of foreign to me. So I started researching and really the first thing that that stuck to me was selling on Amazon, selling products. The fact that you can actually from home or anywhere really with just the computer be able to you know sell a product from one uh, market in another market which is like your supplier or your distributor to Amazon without you actually interacting physically with the customer to me that was a great deal because in my restaurant business I had to cook the food buy the food prep it serve it clean up with the customer for us to actually make it sell so it was a, a genius idea for us now the problem with that model is that I invested my own money to number one, learn of course, number two, to also um, buy products, you know what I mean? Now, whether if you're gonna do drop shipping, whether if you're gonna do private label, doesn't matter what it is you're gonna do, at some point you're gonna actually invest your money in the product. Even if you're doing drop shipping, you're like, you know what, I don't like private labeling, cool, it's not as scalable as private labeling, but what you would need to do is, when someone actually purchases your product, you still have to go to the dropshipper or the distributor or the manufacturer purchase that product so your money is involved in the in the in the in the kind of transaction right so that was the thing that was the mistake that i made in that time i don't want to call it a mistake but if i knew better if i know what i if i knew what i know today i would have definitely done things much differently and i would have been able to scale a lot faster now you may be wondering bashar what are you talking about i mean you you went you went through trial and error and no i'm not talking about like finding a coach which i am a, a big believer of and you definitely need to find a coach and it doesn't matter whether if it's amazon or any other business you definitely should tap into someone else's system but there's another thing that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video that if I knew then, I would have done things much differently. Things would have worked for me a lot differently, actually. Now, our last week's giveaway winner is Lazar or Razzle Quizan. I, I don't know if I butchered your name. If I did, I do apologize. If you'd like to be part of our weekly giveaway, all you have to do is drop in the comment sections BJKU, and then every week I select the person, and it's a giveaway for our step-by-step uh, -step PDF on how to launch a successful business on Amazon. So going back to what I was talking about earlier here is that, you know, one thing that I realized after I, I successfully started selling on Amazon for a few years and then I got into the coaching field was the fact that I started, you know, getting hired for um, getting involved in, in people's businesses and managing people's businesses, right? And now at this point, I get paid, you know, top dollar to manage a store for someone. Let's say it's a six figure earner and then they want to simply, you know, keep managing their store and then optimize certain things and then scale to seven figures or whether if it's a five figure, want to go to six figure or whether if it's someone who simply wants to sell on Amazon, but just don't have the time, they have money sitting in the bank. And instead of going and investing in a business that's, they know that's active, where you know you have to actively be there they want something more passive income they don't want to get into real estate because they don't want to only earn five six seven percent per year they want to earn more like 20 30 percent per month right so getting on amazon is definitely a great uh, um a great business and then it's a service that we just started offering recently where an investor invests their money with us and then we're, we simply do everything from A to Z. We find the product, launch the product, manage it, everything. So I'm getting a piece of the pie. Now, one thing I realized when I started doing that is like, you know what? I now 
or I could have started doing this thing five years ago and I could have learned everything I needed and I could have been running stores and, and, and different products without my money being invested. Like right now, yes, people pay me top dollar because of my experience, because I have a five year experience. Our team has a 20 plus year experience combined. So yes, they pay us top dollar. But you know what, five years ago, I would have taken a job as an intern. I would have taken this job for completely free just to learn and that's why interns it's literally internship right that's why interns exist and that's how they exist you simply become an intern at a firm or at a a brand you find a seller you find someone who has a seller and you literally work for them even if it's for free because you gotta understand one thing if you were to come and invest in our program it's a few thousand dollars i mean we have other programs that are cheaper or if you go invest in any other thing or even if you try to do it on your own you're like you know i don't believe in programs i'm going to do it on my own that trial and error that you're going to go through that money that you're going to invest in products you don't even know if you know what you're doing or not right you don't know if you're going to select the right product or not but if you were to tap into someone else's store someone else has their own money invested in the business you're not putting in any money out of pocket you're helping, the, you're helping them manage their store and you're learning along the way. Now you may say about Bashar, how exactly am I even gonna know what to do? You know what, this YouTube channel is filled with free videos. There are a bunch of other YouTube channels that are free. Now do understand, this is definitely a lot slower method. Another thing is, someone like me, when I hire someone to our team, yes, I am looking for experience, but a lot of the things, a lot of the tasks that we give and delegate to our team members we have a system already drawn out. We have a, a Google Drive folder, you get tapped into it, and then you literally have every single step laid out in front of you. All you have to do is just read. We, we teach you how to do it, and then you just gotta do it. So the first, you know, get hired somewhere where they're going to teach you how to do it, and then start picking up little by little, and then simply start learning. And then six months, a year later, now you've got an experience running a successful Amazon store. You know what to look for. You know what to do. You know how to source. You know how to negotiate with suppliers. And then try to do extra things. Like if I, they only tell you to do one, two, three, four, do those. And then once you get a hang of those, hey, give me more. Hey, I want to do more. And if you have it to work for free, what the hell? You're learning, right? This is your learning. You're learning for completely free and using someone else's money, which is, I think, ingenious. And if I had known about that, I would have actually done it that way instead of investing my own money in coaching and training and, in, in, you know, in products that fail. Um, and I would have done it this way. Now, with that said, I do want you to understand that this is definitely a slower way of doing things, right? Because you're going to need to, number one, find you someone who's going to trust you enough to give you access to their account and start teaching you. Most people do look for experience. And number two, it's going to take you a while because you're even if you're going to do it for free or even if you're going to get paid, you're probably not going to get paid a whole bunch, especially when you don't have experience. But if you do have experience, that's great, you know? However, if you don't have experience, they're not going to pay a lot. And you're going to need to, especially if you are, you know, someone who is a little older, you've got responsibilities, you're going to need to have an actual reliable job that pays your bills and pays your expenses. So this is going to be more of a side gig. So this is going to be definitely a slower way of doing things. It's going to take 6 to 12 months at least until you actually start learning how it all works and then have the you know the initial investment to start launching your own products. Now I hope the last few minutes have shed some light on your quest and have answered some of your questions. Now if this is something you do want to get involved in, you're like Bashar, this sounds awesome and I think this is a great way of doing things and I you know, I do have time, but I just don't have that much time on my hand to really get it going. I do have some money set aside to really start another business. Maybe, you know, you're trying to get out of your current job or maybe you want to add additional income or whatever your goal is and you want to tap into a professional system, accelerate your learning curve and really get to profitability. If that's you, then what I've done is I've put together a 20, 25 minute free workshop where I literally break down to exactly what do we do, how we do it and how you can get involved at the end of the workshop. I do prompt you to schedule a call with me or one of my team members where we answer any of your other questions and also figure out if working together is a great fit. If you'd like to learn more about that, the first link in the description, 
click on it and attend a free workshop. Once again, guys, Bashar Katu here. I do appreciate you for being awesome and actually tuning into this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and consider sharing this video with someone you know that might find this content valuable. Outside of that, I think the videos are right here. The next videos are maybe right here. I, I wanna say they're right here. If they are, go ahead and check those out and I'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a great day. Peace.